Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will go ahead and take a look at the query to fetch the child records along with the parent. So let's say we have created a customer and we have created a couple of invoices related to the customer. So now in this particular tutorial, we are going to go ahead and write a query which will fetch all the child records along with the parent records. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and create a customer, a brand new customer, let's say. We have created a customer. The name of the customer, we can call it as ABC customer here. This is the name of the customer. And then the active, the status is paid, hit the paid button. So this is what the customer is. Let me see if you have a customer with the name ABC customer. Okay, nothing. So with this ABC customer, let's go ahead and create three invoices related to this customer. So we can say a new invoice here related to the ABC customer. Amount paid is $100. The status is pending. Hit the save button. So with the first invoice here, then we are going to go ahead and create another invoice for this ABC customer. So go ahead and scroll down and create a second invoice. The amount is $500. It's unpaid and hit the save button. So we have created a second invoice for the ABC customer. Now we're going to go ahead and create a third invoice for this particular ABC customer. So we're going to go ahead and let's say the amount is 700 and hit the save button. So we have created a customer record. The name of the customer is ABC customer and we have created three invoices related to that customer. So now what we're going to see is we're going to go ahead and fetch the child records using the SOQL query and we will see how to do that. So we're going to go back here, go to the developer console here and then the first thing is we are going to go ahead and write this query. This is the query which is select name the ID and then we also need to query the child records. So we are going to go ahead and use the select ID, the name from which table? So from the invoices dash dash R. So this is the relationship one from Apex customer underscore underscore C where the name is equals to so what particular customer are we looking for? We're looking for the customer where the name is equals to ABC customer. So this is what the query is. Select the name, ID, and then the ID and name from this invoices underscore underscore R. Since we are, what we are doing here is, this is the query for fetching the child records along with the parent from the Apex customer where the name is equals to ABC customer. So whatever the result that comes back from this query, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and store that result in this particular list. And the list is for the customer records. And the name of the list is list customers. This is the name of our list. Now what we are doing is, so we have this particular list will contain all the parent records as well as the child records. So let's go ahead and debug. System dot of debug. Let's see what is the value of the list customers. So let's go ahead and execute. So this particular list customers gave you the customer record, the name ABC and the ID. So now let's go ahead and fetch the invoices from this list customers. So how are we going to do it? So we're going to go ahead and say list of, see this one only gave you the customer information, but now we're going to go ahead and fetch the invoices from this particular list. So we're going to go ahead and create a list of to store the invoice records. We're going to go ahead and create a list to store the invoice records. So let's say the NIST name is list of invoices is the name of the invoice record list. So if you want to fetch it, the invoice, we're going to go ahead and use this notation list customers off of zero dot of invoices underscore R. 
So this is the notation to fetch the child records and what we are doing it? We are, we are fetching all the child records and we are putting into this list. And now if you wanted to go ahead and debug, display this particular list, how are you going to say? You can say system.debug, the invoice records related to the ABC customer. What are the invoice records? This is the invoice records. So remember, this is the notation that you're going to use to fetch the invoices. So first of all, we created a list which will have mainly it has it, it, we are doing this query select the name ID and then the ID name from the invoices underscore underscore R and whatever it is we are storing it in here. This basically had only the customer information, but by using this notation, list customer of zero, it fetched it gave us the invoice information also. So let's go ahead and execute this program and see what will be the result. So now the invoices are also fetched. So it gave you all the three invoices related to the ABC customer. So if you wanted to go ahead and see, it gave you all the invoices, 22, 21, and this is going to be 20. So 20, 21, and 22. So if you go back here, what all invoices are there for this ABC customer? We have is... 20, 21, and 22. So these are the invoices. So how did we fetch it? This is a very important query and you will use it a lot of times because in Salesforce Apex, you're going to go ahead and have objects which have parent-child relationship and you also might need to fetch the parent records and the child records together in a single query. This is the way to do it. So we're using the select the name and ID and then the ID and the name from the invoices underscore underscore R from this particular object, from the customer object, where the name is equals to whatever the name you are looking for. And then we are displaying the list of customers. Now, if you wanted to fetch the list of invoices, then you're using the zeroth notation here, and it is going to go ahead and give you the invoices underscore underscore R. So it is going to fetch you all the invoice related records. The invoice records related to the customer is this one. So it gave you all the invoice related to that particular customer. If you see this output carefully, you will see that the output is from, remember the related list, the customer's related list also has the invoice information. So if you go back to this developer output here, you will see that the invoice records related to the ABC customer. So it gives you the customer information, the ID and the name of the invoice. Similarly, here also for the second record also, it gave you the customer ID and then the ID of the invoice and the name of the invoice. So this gave you the ID of the invoice and the name of the invoice. And the, even the third one, it gave you, this is the ID of the customer, the ID of the invoice and the name of the invoice. 